briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing legal dispute dating back to the late 1970s, Snow Manufacturing Company, a California-based corporation, was hauled into court by the U.S. Commissioner over tax issues. The bone of contention revolved around the accumulated earnings tax for the fiscal years ending in June 1979 and June 1980. The corporation found itself in hot water for artificially inflating its credit cycle, an act the United States Tax Court found unflattering. The saga unfolded when Snow Manufacturing Company was accused of unlawfully accumulating earnings and profits that far surpassed their reasonable business needs. The company, despite knowing a local ordinance, stored items outside, leading to significant weather damage. Moreover, the company's vice president expressed concern over the mounting issue of overcrowding. While expansion of storage space had been in the pipeline, no concrete steps had been taken, leading to the lawsuit. In an earlier decision, the court took into account Snow Manufacturing Coa's working capital needs, credit cycle, and other relevant data, which included trade and non-trade payables and accumulated earnings and profits. However, the commissioner's position was weakened due to their unusually high estimate of the credit cycle length. The case took a decisive turn when the United States Tax Court ruled against Snow Manufacturing Company, finding them guilty of intentionally avoiding income tax. Citing the corporation's scant dividend history and investment in assets unrelated to its business, the court maintained it was clear evidence of tax evasion. Therefore, Snow Manufacturing Company was found liable for the tax code section 531 during the contested fiscal years. It was deemed ineligible for both the general credit and the minimum credit, given their significant accumulation of earnings and profits beyond reasonable business needs. This decision was drawn from a fundamental premise in tax law. For corporations, if their net liquid assets exceed their accumulated earnings and profits, these earnings should be compared with reasonable business needs, with any excess open to dividends. The entire legal squabble has been meticulously detailed, including a damning chart and appendix with Snow Manufacturing Coa's computation of working capital and operating expenses, emphasizing their unlawful accumulated earnings. The court saw this as a deliberate maneuver by Snow Manufacturing Company to evade income taxes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.